Hello, living in Boulder vlog for June 11th, 2019 on a Tuesday. Currently, it is Wednesday, June 12th, 528 a.m. Uh, yesterday, uh, I did my video about one day ago. I do my video every day about this time. Um, so yesterday, I did my video, and then maybe I worked a little bit more, and then I slept and then I think I had like a nap. Uh, I had like a little bit of a nap last night. Felt kind of groggy. I got a hot dog yesterday morning and that made me tired. Maybe junk food to like saps energy out of you. One thing I noticed about drinking alcohol and candy is that it takes energy away from me. It makes me have to sleep more. So um, I like being in my little um, hermetically sealed room here in my own little world day by day, night by night because... Um, I can practice, it's like a spiritual practice, practice not needing candy and, you know, alcohol and junk food and stuff. Um, I don't smoke reefer anymore. Uh, my roommate gives me joints though, like every few days. <laughs> um, yeah, but sometimes I go out of the house and get like an energy drink just cause I, you know, just to stretch my legs and stuff, but... So anyway, yesterday, I uh, the, the task was to finish Google Earth and Tribes of Australia and New Zealand and then link them to my website timeline. Um, and I did that. Um, and so then I got going on uh, Atlantis again. Um, I was working on Australia and then I kind of all of a sudden I said to myself, you know what, I got to do Atlantis now. So I got started a little bit, but then I got burnt out, and then I got going on Australia and New Zealand, finished that. And so now I'm back on Atlantis. Um, Atlantis, I... So then once I got back to it, um, I, um, I'm i drawing in. I, I The way that I do it is I paste. I'm not using um, uh, um, SketchUp. It's 750 bucks. I don't have that kind of money right now, and I mean... I guess I should probably download the trial version just see what it what it can do because maybe, but I think I can be more precise anyway without it. I don't know. It might be faster. <sighs> but I'm just doing it the way that I know how. Hopefully it's not too much longer. I probably should figure out get my wrap my head around SketchUp, but um, yeah, I'm just manually drawing it in. I'm, I'm pasting in images so that I can then trace off of that to create the the uh, little. Uh, polygon drawings of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I did uh, the triremes building uh, ships the size of triremes, 37 meters by 6 meters, and then 3 meters high. I created the, sh the shape of it from the image. And so I did all the triremes around the images of all the triremes around the outer part of the inner uh, moat of uh, Atlantis. And now I'm doing the inner one. Or and then I did the, um, yeah, I did outer and inner for images. So now I'm doing images. I'm like 40 in, drawing in the uh, the ships on the inside. And then I'm going to do the outside. And then I'm going to, uh, when the, on the outer, the ring outer from that, it's wider. Because the inner ring is only, um, like one stadium wide, which is 185 meters. But it actually looks perfect for a Greek trireme. Like if ancient Atlantis had boats the same size as the Greek triremes, you know, there's no reason why not to think because Greeks, you know, were saying that, Plato was saying that when Atlantis sunk, they were in a war with Athens and um, they were trying to take over Europe. And um, and so if Athens used, the, and, 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 you know, and Plato also says that uh, they use this, the Egyptians used the same exact music and art form as they did 10,000 years before that. And so why not just believe they have the same ships too? <laughs> so if it's the same ships, then it actually works out because you put the uh, the triremes on both sides and then you have enough room in the middle for triremes to pass <laughs> in the middle. So yeah, it sounds perfect. And then, so then I'm going to do the, uh, the mode on the outside of that. And um, uh, I'll use a bigger boat, not just the triremes because it has the room, you know, I'll assume that you know, because it's Atlantis and they had all that technology, they probably had the ability to make boats bigger than ancient Greek triremes. So maybe if I can do like Titanics, I'll do a bunch of Titanics or something around the uh, the outer edge. 
and then maybe even aircraft carriers or, or modern day cargo ships. So they don't have that image pasted on there, have every other ship. But yeah, and just fill up. I'm going to fill up all of the harbors of ancient Atlantis, and then I'm going to build in after that all of the buildings on ancient Atlantis and however I think Atlantis looked like. I don't want to fill the rings up with how, too many houses because the rings were probably like, it was it was more like the city center, so it was big, uh, like lakes and parks. And, you know, the Plato said there were lots of trees. Um, and, yeah, some houses, big houses, little houses. But most of the houses are going to be on the outside of the ring. That's where the actual city was, and it's really big, too. It was like... 70 kilometers in, in, uh, di in, uh, circumference <sighs> and like, um, 18 kilometers in diameter. So yeah, pretty, pretty big, huge. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to type in every single building. I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, um, in a way that it, it's time efficient, but, uh, I am going to type in every single build, uh, boat. So I figured, and then like when I have the energy, when I wake up and my mind is fresh, I want to draw in the uh, the 1850 kilometer uh, um, canal that Atlantis had. They had an 1850 kilometer canal that winded its way from the mountains to the city of Atlantis. And so I have to make it wind a lot in the plane that they have there. You know, I'm, I'm judging it off of the uh, Bahamas. It's the landmass just under the water. I think it's like 60 feet deep or something like that. Um, and uh, so I gave myself until today, it's uh, it's Wednesday. I gave myself until Sunday. Or I didn't give myself, I have as much time as I want, but I'm predicting in my head, I'm preparing to, be done with Atlantis by Sunday. So that gives me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five more days of, five full days of working on it. So I think I can do that in five days. Uh, you know, I can do a lot in one day. <laughs> so I can do it five times more in five days. So um, I, uh, um, I'm gonna, um, yeah, and as soon as I'm done with Atlantis, then I'll start, uh, doing the uh, Google Earth of all of the buildings. Um, I mean, all of the the, the uh, kingdoms of uh, of of, uh, of Europe. You know, like all of them. Um, give myself a couple weeks on that because I'm gonna see if I can do like you know all the different territory changes of all the kingdoms on Google Earth. <laughs> and then once I do that, I'll do the rest of them world, you know, if I can do the whole world, Google Earthing all the kingdoms and stuff, tribes in a couple of months, um, then I can get going on the actual timeline. And, um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing good progress by the end of the year. The website will definitely be at a new level. Um, I'm thinking right now two years until it's, it's kind of like workable, the beginning of workable, you know, or a year and a half, I don't know, the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, but I feel good physically, you know, in order to stay feeling good physically, I think getting off weed is really important. When I was really high on weed, I always felt sick, like my body was being taxed, you know, like, I don't know, maybe my liver didn't like it or something. But when I'm clean, I can go, I can, I can go all day long. So, um, oh, wow, it's been speaking for nine minutes. So, yeah. By today, the end of today, that would be nice if I could have traced all the, drawn all the boats, like all the boats, and get going on, yeah, doing the uh, uh, canal, you know, and, and stuff, who knows, but, yep, today's the last day. On YouTube, I was watching different history stuff, just random stuff, different, just discovering new channels, really, I haven't really done a whole lot of exploring around in YouTube channels, so, yeah, some good ones, I can't think of any right now, but I'll... I should make a page of my favorite YouTube channels on my websites one of these days, not anytime soon, but all right, been talking long enough. Talk to you tomorrow.